Hey guys, welcome back to Martin James Designs. I'm super stoked to start another project with used Harley parts. I kind of really loved how that lamp turned out and it got me inspired to keep using some of the parts I have and create something else cool. So I thought of a couple ideas and I figured I'd just show you guys what my vision is. So this is my 2019 Harley Davidson Street Glide there in the middle. And uh, I upgraded to a Vance and Heinz Rogue Air Cleaner. So I took the old um, stock 107 air cleaner off of it. And I started looking at it and I was like, that looks like a speaker grill. So it got me thinking, this base sits like this. It's got room for some switches or whatnot. It's opportunity to powder coat something cool. And I was like, this thing should be a Bluetooth speaker. So I have no idea how this is going to turn out yet. But what I've done is I've done a ton of research on how to make a Bluetooth speaker. I got like a little amplifier here. I got uh, these mini um, speakers. And I also picked up an actual Bluetooth speaker so I could kind of see how it all works or could take it apart. I'm also looking for a battery uh, that's chargeable because I want to be able to make this fully chargeable. Uh, I figured I'd start figuring out how to get these speakers and Bluetooth to work. Okay, so I've opened up this single speaker Bluetooth and here's the amplifier right here. It's got the lithium battery um, that's chargeable. And then here's the charging chip right here. So I'm going to be able to splice this speaker into these two, into this terminal, and then I'm going to relocate the lithium battery and the charging port and uh, rewire it and arrange it to work in here. Okay, these are where the speakers are gonna sit, but in order to make them work, I have to seal them off and kind of create like a, a box. So what I've found is an old fork boot. So that the speaker sits in this fork boot and I'm gonna seal the back off, kind of create like a sub. And then because it has to mount to something, I found an old windshield. So I'm gonna mount that kind of like that and then seal it in this square. So the speaker will be recessed. So I'm gonna start figuring out how I'm gonna do that. <laughs> today but for now i've gotten i used the windshield plastic for the inset of the speakers i drilled two holes and then epoxied them in and then i cut some rubber to seal off the back side of these fork boots made a couple little speaker boots that are going to go right like that and then the speakers are i painted them black as you can see and those are going to sit so you can see they're gonna sit in there right like that. The mesh will cover it. And I'm gonna powder coat that. So you'll only, uh, you'll just see just the speaker covers in there. I'm gonna powder coat this a certain color. 
paint this, uh, build a leg for it to make sure it stands properly, and uh, reuse this, this uh, the label. Well, that's gonna go on there. Uh, yeah, and then for all of this, I got the lithium battery. I gotta fix the charging module. The little, uh, that connection fell off. I don't know I'm gonna fix that yet. Uh, the Bluetooth, or no, that's this one. It, this is the little amplifier with the buttons. And I'm going to be using these, reusing these buttons somehow. Um, and the charging piece and incorporate those into the side here. So all the buttons in the charging thing will be on the left. So uh, we'll see how that goes the farther I get along. I uh, painted the base here a matte white. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do with this after. Um, but I've grabbed these spark plugs right here. And I'm going to put these here like that. There's going to be one there and one here. And they're going to act as the legs for the bottom of the, um, the speaker. And I'm going to powder coat these the same color as this. And so this is going to, and this, there's a grill here that's going to get powder coated as well. That's going to be, um, golden brown on the bottom uh, as the base. Then I'm going to do this really cool vintage effect, which I've been playing with. I'm going to powder coat it flat black for a second coat. Then I'm going to put it in the oven just so it flows out. And then I'm going to sand it to make it look old and then put it back in the oven. So I'll show you guys how that's uh, gonna turn out. Um, so I figured I'd start powder coating. Mm -hmm. never seen this done before but I've been playing around with it and it's been working so what I've done here is I've coated it with golden brown cured it for regular time and then I pulled it out waited till it cooled down then I hit it with flat black and then I'm just putting it in the oven right now just enough for it to flow out then I'm gonna bring it back out remove the decal and then I'm going to sand it down to give it a patina look, like more of a vintage look. And then once that's done and cleaned up, I'm going to put it back in the oven to cure it for its full temp. So we're going to make this uh, speaker look kind of old. That's the plan. So let's just wait to pull this out of the oven and then we'll keep going. So as you can see, it's just started to flow out, melting in place. So now I can remove the decal, get that taken off so it'll expose the golden brown below underneath it and then we're going to sand it down and make it look old. Yeah, I have 120 grit. I have a sanding block 
some scotch bright and 400 and i'm just going to start slowly sanding it down without going too deep and uh, start making my way around the whole thing and see how it turns out so i'll get going on that mm -hmm. It's all sanded down it looks super rough right now and uh, you can see the sand marks it's not glossy at all but uh, once you put it in the oven and bake it it's all gonna come to life so um, yeah I'm gonna put it in the oven and finish its cure time and we'll see how it turns out so there it is you can see how it's all sanded down it looks rustic turned out really cool and I powder coated the top bolt because this is going to go like that. I'm going to put that back on there. And then it kind of made the MJD logo a little rustic. Now I'm just contemplating whether I'm going to keep this white or I'm going to sand it down and give it a rustic look as well. And here's the grill. So that's going to go in there like that. And that's where the speakers are going to go. So... I'm going to figure out how I want to finish the white and then um, the spark plugs feet are going to go in. It's going to look pretty cool. So I am going to sand it down and give it a, a kind of a weathered look. I think with the weathered look on the top shell, it will it should look pretty cool. So I'm going to go sand that all down. <music> sanded it down made it look pretty vintage got the charging port there and then there's going to be rubber buttons that are going here um, that are going to be working for there these are these are going to go right there that's going to be your play buttons i'm going to stick them like that really nice and neat you can see it's all weathered so it looks pretty vintage this logo is going to go back here the Milwaukee 107. here I grabbed the uh, brake um, reservoir off of one of the bikes I pulled the the view cap out of it it's gonna work good for a light to tell you when this uh, um, lights on on the Bluetooth speaker but I need to transfer that light on the um, amplifier up through here and this is a little too short so I found this metal um, straw I'm gonna cut it down drill a hole in this light so it slides on like that and then i'll be able to pop that light in there 
and it will transfer the light from here down to the motherboard. So I'm gonna work on that. Okay, that was a little trickier than I thought. I drilled a hole, I used that clear cover from the brake reservoir and the angle of the straw I cut down and connected the plastic to the LED board. The light goes through the straw and travels up through that. So in theory, it should work. Next up is to mount the battery right there, uh, get the switches on the other side installed and then get the speakers put in. this thing out. Okay, I'm gonna finish everything off now. Get the buttons done. done got music playing used up these motorcycle parts created pretty much a piece of art it looks really cool it's kind of got like a stormtrooper vibe to it um because it's kind of sanded down and like vintage looking uh, but i think it turned out really good so let's have a look at it all right here it is this was a stock air cleaner from that 2019 street glide as you can see, it's got the 107 logo on it, the Milwaukee 8. Um, so yeah, some of the details that I did with this is it came with this uh, screen and I powder coated it uh, golden brown and then coated it flat black and kind of sanded it down. So it gave it like this rustic look. Um, then I powder coated the top, same thing, golden brown hit it with some flat black, sanded it, and then finished baking it. So it, it gives it that real rustic vintage look. Then I uh, painted the plastic part of the air cleaner. Uh, it was black and I painted it matte white and then I sanded it down, gave it a rust, rustic look. As you can see the screen scratch marks and uh, it just kind of looks pretty neat. So that's kind of the overall look of it. Um, some of the features are I used two spark plugs. As you can see, I powder coated these spark plugs and they actually act as the stands that hold the, the speaker up. And then I used the original bolt it came with, but um, powder coated that. Then over here, this is actually from a uh, brake reservoir where you can see the sight glass to look into it. So I cut that down and it acts as the uh, LED light now for the speaker. I reused these buttons and I just drilled holes and had to rig up these uh, to try to get the switches to work. I had to... Uh, it got a little finicky because I had to build up the rubber to make them click because there's the amplifier on the other side. I cut out this old original uh, I took from another Bluetooth speaker, the charging module, and uh, epoxied it in here, cut it all out. Uh, so now this it can be fully charged through the lithium battery on the inside. So these are all kind of the controls. I also put my little signature MJD logo in there, made it look a little rustic. Uh, so a little hidden in there. It looks pretty good. Uh, let's open it up. I'll show you what's going on inside. And then you can just pull the cover right off like this. Now in here, <coughs> I grabbed a 5 coupler 
and I actually epoxied this windshield from one of the motorcycles in this hole underneath, drilled a hole and made a stem that acts to support the top cover. So that I just finished the last thing I did. Then here, these are fork boots with windshield plastic end caps that I epoxied or actually weather adhesived on. And I fed the speakers through that and sealed them. So they're acting as little subs, but they're actually from fork boots. Uh, so it turned out pretty good. And as you can see here, there's the speakers. I built this little, uh, I use windshield plastic to build the frame for the subs as well. And then as you can see down here, I used an, oh, an amplifier from another Bluetooth speaker, was able to make that work. I rewired the harnesses and I installed these two uh, little uh, speakers and spliced them. So I was able to connect them to the one port. And then I was able to use this lithium battery um, that charges through the module as well. So I uh, mounted that there and now it can be fully uh, chargeable up to 12 hours and it's portable. So um, that's kind of the inside and I figured I'll turn it on, show you guys what it sounds like. That's my second creation with used motorcycle parts. It turned out pretty cool. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but uh, I'm definitely gonna hang on to it because it came off of my original Harley. So um, yeah, I just wanna thank you guys for checking out my videos, for subscribing. I noticed I've been getting quite a few subscribers lately, so I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you guys check in because I have the bike, the 2009. It's already on the lift and I have the first episode almost ready to come out. Uh, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.